Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the grim existence that is Eastern Canada. We are back out in Mon Bazoo, and I am so glad to be back because this game is just perfectly stupid, and I love everything about it. Anyways, I've been uh, doing some more logging because it's my only source of revenue in this game thus far, but you guys gave me a lot of great information in the first episode, so we're going to be doing some new things today and hopefully expanding out our little RV shack here. First thing we may as well do is get some more money in the bank. I mean, we still have $381. All I had to do was refill uh, the gas canisters here, which honestly don't last very long. So I definitely would like to get away from gasoline if we can. A lot of you guys said I could somehow get on the power grid. Don't really know how that works, but that could be a good job. I can also get into tree planting. That's something I definitely want to do if we're going to continue down this route of logging. We can also get into tree tapping to make maple syrup. So yes, we have a lot of options in this game and i'm slowly learning more and more on how this game works so yeah we're gonna go over to my neighbor which for the record is actually my brother so uh we know that now we also have to work on friendships i definitely want to start doing that because from what i understand once we max out these bars each guy or girl i should be oh god oh god what am i doing what am i doing oh what the hell is there all i didn't even know there was a hole over here oh my god oh my god is there ever a hole well, God damn it! I thought this was gonna go smoothly. I'm already screwing up. Crank it real good. Yeah, come on, little truck. You can do it. I feel like it's not working, is it? Ah, uh, maybe. I think I have maxed out the crinker. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while now. It's not moving, so we're just gonna... Damn it. Let's just see if we can get out of this situation first. We can put this... What the... What the... What are you doing? Oh my God, everything is breaking. Anyways, we can put this thing in four. So we'll throw it in four wheel. And let's see if we can maybe get it to the uh, beach. Yes! Oh. oh, that was an all-day freaking endeavor, but we did it. We got it out of there. I now just have to deal with the... Uh, just, should I deal with the wood later? We still have a decent load. All right, so yeah, we'll deal with the rest of the wood later. It's not like we're struggling anyways. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even know I had a flashlight. That's convenient. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of you guys told me that I can just, yes, do a simple drive-by. And there we go. We now have $528. Thanks, brother. We might want to get some new poutine soon. Anyways, I'm going to go to town real quick because I definitely need more gas. And there's something else I want to buy at the gas station, actually. So hopefully we can make it there before it closes. I don't actually know what time it closes at. Oh, 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 no! God damn. Damn it! What is up with me today? Is this where I'm supposed to go? I'm gonna climb a freaking mountain? Uh oh, put, put it in the low. Put it in the low. What the? Well, there's where I want to be. I don't think I can get through the water, though. All right, I'm pretty sure, yes, this is the access point to the road because I went down here before. Oh, crisis averted. Jesus. All right, please still be open because I'm getting very close to E. And I need some gas very, very badly. Oh, thank God. Okay, I can still get it. So everything is fine. We're going to fill this bad boy up. We now have gasoline, at least. The, the life source of our energy. All right, we still got a lot of money. I hope this is still open. God damn it. Is it really not open? Okay, it is. Hello? The store is closed. Oh, God damn it. Can I steal something? I really can't buy anything. Anyways, there's... Yes, it's these... I need these for wood cutting, so we'll buy that tomorrow when we uh, can at least buy things in this damn game. Not again, not again, not again! Oh my god, why am I doing this? What the hell is that? What's up, man? Hey, you, you got any illegal things here? Performance calipers. Oh! So this guy sells mods? Roger, how you doing, man? Oh, I've gained friendship with Roger. What's going on with your hands? Why are you sitting like that? It's weird. All right, well, I don't have enough money right now to go into modding my vehicles. Hell, my, my, my car hasn't even started yet, but at least we know where to go if we want to get some uh, probably stolen performance parts. Let's be honest here. But yeah, Roger, it's good to be your friend, bud. Whoa, sorry. I almost took out freaking Jesus there. Uh, yeah, okay, that's, that's not bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy these, okay? Do I, do I just walk out? That's not stealing, right? Nope, I definitely lost some money there. Okay, we'll throw those in there. They said I should buy the tire pump as well, so I shall buy this. To-do list complete. I think I'll take one of these maple syrups with me just as a thank you for you guys being awesome here. Actually, before I go, I just want to make sure. Do I have to talk to these guys to get friendship up? Yes. Okay, so you got to make sure. You have to work on that friendship, man. 
Hey, what the hell? Hold on, this, this house is walkable. Oh, this is the snack delivery. Okay, well, at least I know where that is now. That's actually kind of hidden. I, I thought that was just an ordinary house. You know what? One thing I didn't really think about to now is the only way to get poutine from what I know is via that, but I still don't have the fry basket. So when I run out of poutine, how the hell am I going to eat? Because the, the um, grocery store is closed down. I honestly don't know where to get food. Okay, now I got my fancy new pruning lopers. Is that what it said? Pruning loppers. Is that an actual term? I doubt it. Anyways, what I want to do, hopefully, is maple trees. This is... No, this is birch. I I know my trees very well. There we go. There's the... I, I should really know that, being Canadian. That, that's embarrassing. All right, I'm pretty sure we have to cut it down first. God, I hope this is the case. Yes! Wait, did that work? What? Oh, I have to equip them. I'm so dumb. Use on a tree to get cuttings. Wait! I can't use it on... Okay, that's fine. We, we, we have more here. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Yes! Okay. Okay. I, I pressed E and it's, it's, it's like on the ground. So I'm pretty sure... Will this grow? All right. I think I did it right. This is so cool. No, no cuttings on this tree. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. So it's a good thing I figured this out before I destroyed every tree today. This is all thanks to you guys, of course. Because yes, you can actually run out of maple trees in this game. So I'm hoping we can set up... Uh, some tree tapping soon. I don't know if we actually can make maple syrup in this game, but I'm assuming we can. Regardless, now we're living literally off the land. For every tree I chop down, I have to plant a new one. All right, so now that we have a new forest growing, we can uh, cut these down without being too worried. I don't think I'm going to do too much logging today. <laughs> I mean, this whole series has be basically been logging, let's be honest here. And I don't actually need money right now, so I definitely want to work on, you know, my food situation. I have to figure out that. Obviously, getting this car up and running would be great as well. The whole point of this game is to make this thing run. So uh, I guess we can use the tire pressure thing, being that we got that, just to see what our PSI is on the all these. Okay, so I don't know what they should be, but 20 sounds about right. We definitely want to fill up that one a bit. Yeah, it's looking like we have one low one. Now, I don't have... This, this thing doesn't pump. It's just a checker, isn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, it does. Oh, that's freaking dope. Okay, so let's just put them around 25 here. I wonder if we can blow a tire. You know what? That would be stupid to try. It's very dangerous to overpump a tire for the record. All right, but there we go. We are nice and pumped. How, how are these ones doing? Oh, I guess we don't have to worry about my truck tires. They just don't go down at all. Okay, cool. Uh, did I not screw this on? Is that why it didn't start? Oh my god, I didn't screw it on. If this thing starts, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, I'm actually gonna be happy because then I don't have to worry about how to get this thing to freaking start. I can't believe I forgot that, though. <laughs> yeah, you kind of want to screw things together. Okay, and there we go. Ooh, to-do list! I didn't even- I don't even have a car to-do list, do I? I don't even know what that one before, because the buggy's a to-do list. But yeah, where the hell's my car to-do list? Is it inside? Because it would really help if I knew what I had to do. Well, I have no idea where it is. Regardless, let's see if the puppy purrs now. I don't think it will, but you never know. Oh my god. It actually freaking runs. I guess we'll go take this thing for a spin and fuel it up. And maybe buy some more stuff here. Oh, this is dope. Uh-oh. Oh, it's parking brakes engaged. Where the hell's the parking brake in this one? There it is. Release that parking brake. We are moving! Sorry, truck. Oh my god, we actually might be able to go to the racetrack today and just test this thing out. Obviously... Oh god. Oh my god! Okay, we might need some new tires here. I'm spinning out in gear one. Also, I'm realizing that my fuel is absurdly low. I hope we can make it there. Uh, what time is it? Okay, we, we, we still have time, so that's good. And we might be able to buy some upgrades for this bad boy. I don't know. I don't know if we should or not. We don't have too much money just yet. I'd also like to get the sugar shack set up. There's so many things we need to do in this game, though. I don't know if we'll get to too many more today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The brakes are even worse on this one. <gasps> Uh-oh. It's okay. Everything's fine. Let's just uh, open this up. God, this is the episode of me almost dying about a million freaking times. Look at this. Like, you cannot be more cliffhanging than that. Come on, get, get back over here. We need, we definitely need new brakes on this thing. Or I just need to go really slow with it. Okay, that should be good. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, reverse, reverse, reverse. Oof. Oh. All right, we are filled up. Did I? Oh. <laughs> that would have been brutal. 
Make sure you close your lid. Why is there holes in my car? There's just like legit... Oh, you know what? That's probably for a spoiler. Can we get into that much modding? I'm excited. I seriously thought it'd be very basic just judging by the amount of stuff in here. But I'm thinking you, you have to find parts or maybe make them yourself or something. All right. Well, we're definitely not getting wheels anytime soon because they're $600 each. Brake rotors and calipers might be a good idea. I still don't have enough money if I want to do a whole kit. So I think I'm just going to play it safe right now. Save my money a bit. Oh, you sell poutine? Dude, I thought this was... Isn't this the sugar shack? Oh, it's just snack delivery. Okay, I have to build the sugar shack. That's right. Okay, well, at least I don't have to worry about food now. I have found the poutine location. <laughs> All right, well, the unfortunate part now is we need to start figuring out ways to earn money. Now, I know, obviously, woodcutting is a good option, but from what I hear, the sugar shack is uh, basically effortless money once you get it set up. So I think we'll start working on that next. I have no idea what we're supposed to do with that, so I don't even know where, you, where the sugar shack is. So I have a lot to figure out here, and hopefully we can figure out some of that right now. All right, so Sugar Shack, Sugar Shack. We need to build the Sugar Shack. No idea how to do that. Buy a roll of tubing. No idea. Connect 10 maple trees to the shack. Sell a barrel of maple syrup to the Federation. What? Fill the sugar tank to the top. Install a can sealer. I know nothing about this. What's the shovel for? I wonder if we can, like, build with the shovel. I don't know what the shovel's for. That's no grass, dumb. Wait, what? What? What the hell? Is Was I supposed to plant the trees in this? Well, 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 I see some sort of structure in the distance. Is this the sugar shack I've been dreaming of? What the hell is this? Zero out of 64 pine logs. Uh, sure. I mean, at least I, I know how to get those. So I guess we're doing this now. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how a log stretches, but hey, I'm not going to question it. I'm kind of intrigued by what I'm building. Okay, so I don't think I'm building. Am I just storing wood? Just just wood storage? I'm so freaking confused. Okay, day one. Uh, I think I'm going to head in because I'm getting pretty hungry for my maple syrup. So we should probably do that. How we do? 26 out of 64. Not bad considering uh, I only did it at the end of the day. So hopefully by tomorrow we'll get that thing finished up and... Uh, I hope we have a sugar shack. Anyways, figured we'd start out early today, get this thing done. So back to chopping down trees. Surprise, surprise. Let's actually inspect the uh, juveniles here. They definitely look a little bit bigger. They are growing. Okay, I was worried I'd have to put them in that uh, spade soil, whatever the hell I was doing with the spade, but I guess not. God damn it. Why do pine logs have to be so freaking massive? Can I put them in there? Is that, is that a bad idea? I think we'll be okay. The door's freaking out, but it's fine. Okay, let me just get inside. Oh, God, I, I, I accidentally grabbed a freaking log instead. Yeah, this is a bad idea. I probably should have just dealt with it. Oh, I had it. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't... I Oh, God, I can't see the freaking key. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck now. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to move you, you guys out. I'm sorry. That should be enough. Just gotta do... A little faster. There we go. Throw him in. Throw him in. Throw him in to the drive-by. Oh, that was great. Okay, that was a job and a freaking half, but there's the final log. Move back. Oh, move further. Oh, why are you yelling? I'm sorry. Wow, you are too far. <laughs> this game. This freaking game is perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. It is the sugar shack. Watch out, truck. Oh, God. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> it actually worked. I got my sugar shack, baby. Look at, oh my god. We got the maple syrup reservoir with a valve. I honestly have no idea how to do any of this. Drink maple syrup from evaporator. Dude, I'm so excited. I've, I've always wanted to tap trees. You know, being Canadian, you should probably do it at least once in your life, but... Uh, yeah, I, I never knew how to do it. So we have some sort of furnace here. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this game, just for the record. But we at least have our sugar shack. We got no electricity. I have a feeling we're going to need that first, just judging by the cords going everywhere. I think we need to power this thing up. Now, I did see uh, we have those windmills that are down the road a bit. Let's go see if we can maybe just somehow connect to those. All right, let's go see if we can just run a cord from this. Wouldn't that be great if there's just, like, a, a freaking wall outlet I can connect to? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, there's stairs. Okay. I was thinking maybe there's nothing here. Hydro St. Clin. Oh, there's a number. 
All right, so maybe we got to call them. Regardless, I'm here and I can climb this. I mean, why wouldn't I, right? Because it was a much longer climb than I expected. Then again, we are pretty high up. What can I... Oh, hey. Tech personal belong... <laughs> Wait. Can I have these? I wish I had an inventory right now. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is just so great. So do I just drop... Oh, okay. Yep, I hope those may make it all the way down. Is there anything else I can do out here? I mean, at least we got some, uh, some jazz lettuce seeds. Oh god, am I supposed to... I don't... Ah! Oh, oh, okay. Of all things, I did not expect to find this when I was simply looking for electricity. This game just gets weirder and weirder, man. All right, well... We got these for later. I, of course, had to check another one to see if that was just a fluke or if yes... Oh, okay, so it's different every- wait, what? Wrench? Wrench? Where did- Wrench? Oh god, I didn't mean to fall! This is- Okay, we're fine. Is it down here? God damn it, I mean, I already have a wrench, so I'm not mad about that. It would have been way worse if I would have lost the seeds. Well, god damn it, now I have to go check the other one. That one's a f up a freaking mountain, though. What's inside box number... Three... All the, I spent so much time getting... This was the hardest one to get to, and you just screw me over like that? I mean, the one good thing about being up here, I have a great view of the situation. We do have a house way over there. Not really sure where how to get to that, but good to know. There's also, I think... I know there's a junkyard, so I'm pretty sure that's on my island as well. There's a lot more on my island than I expected, and we also learned that I, I don't take fall damage, so we're just going to get out of here like that. Oh god! Oh god! Oh. All right, it's all right. We 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 just did a kickflip. As long as my seeds are still in here, where the hell are? They? Oh god, did I lose them? Okay, home sweet freaking home. Where are those seeds at? I'm really worried now. They better be over here. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's what no seeds planted. No seeds planted. Yes, that's what that's for. So I, I I don't want my my special seeds right at the edge of the cliff there. So we'll just plant a new hole. All right, so what the hell do I do? Just... Yes! Ha-ha! We are growing! I love how everything's just kind of coming together in its own chaotic way. Like, I, I went into this episode not really knowing how to do anything, and now we are tree planting. We have built our sugar shack. We're growing the good stuff. I mean, I'm surviving. I have figured out where poutine is. Hell, I even repaired the car. So, uh, yeah, I will say a hell of a lot more happened in this episode than the, than the last one. Let's also call and see... We can hopefully hook up my hydro here, so I don't have to worry about generators anymore. You want to connect to the power grid? A letter will be sent to you. Okay. Is it that easy? All right, cool. So I guess in the next one, hopefully we can connect to that so I don't have to freaking start my generator to save the freaking game. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the weirdness that is Mon Bazoo. I want to thank everyone for all their support and suggestions. A lot of you guys uh, gave me a lot of good input in this game. Uh, feel free to continue it. I think in the next episode, we'll be focusing hopefully on the Sugar Shack. And yeah, hopefully we can get that up and running so we can earn some passive income in this game. Because yeah, I don't want to just be a lumberjack. I would like to, you know, do the whole racing thing because that's kind of the whole point of this game. Regardless, thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.